Abigail painted these jars and now we're filling them with some flowers. It's something to do on a Saturday.
It's a really interesting time now because there's not a lot of stuff going on. I even walked up into town. It's about a about a three mile walk to go up into town. And so round trip of six, seven miles, something like that. And nothing is really open. So I didn't really think about the fact that there weren't any bathrooms anywhere. It's just a really interesting time. And the only thing that I can think of to do for you guys is uh, spend some time in the cars and, and talk about the cars a bit. But most people are still stuck at home, even though as of today, uh, the beaches uh, um, unofficially have opened. In fact, they, they're not supposed to open for a couple of days, but people went in droves and uh, went surfing. There was probably about 30 to 40 people out in the water. Now, I've gotten the Mazda before. This is the 2020 uh, MX-5 Miata. I, I've had it quite a few times over the years, and it's a, it's a steady improvement, uh, although I didn't really notice that much uh, interior-wise or exterior, you know, just some different colors and, and a few odds and ends. It still has the challenging cup holder where you gotta lift your arm kind of but as far as driving up in the canyons and having a good time, it's a really great car for that kind of thing, especially if you don't have a passenger. If you do have a passenger, then expect them to upcheck on you a bit. This 2020 RF edition gets about 30 miles per gallon. It's around 34 grand for a brand new model. Still only about 150, 151 horsepower uh, and about the same torque. There's not, not a lot of get up and go. Uh, it's definitely something that you'd want to play with. The design, especially the exterior, is still solid. Uh, that was designed by my friend uh, Derek Jenkins. This one was machine gray metallic over black. The thing I'm most impressed with is that Mazda is really making tremendous strides in their brand. Uh, they have a, a slew of cars that are going to be coming out, uh, especially some more high-end models to compete with some of the luxury brands. I'm really excited to see what they do here, and I'm kind of hoping that they uh, uh, bring some of the nostalgia back, maybe even create a, uh, a new version of the 68 Cosmo. Hey, don't forget, we have a brand new custom car coloring book that just came out with all new designs, and then as of June 1st, we have the Camaro coloring book that's coming out. Both of these books, along with all of our other books, are available on Amazon. And be sure to hang out with us on our talk uh, on Mondays. It's now one time a week, only on Mondays, giving you guys some chance to, to apply some of the techniques, some of the things that we work on. Be sure to subscribe, hang out with us, and uh, pick up a couple of coloring books. You never know when you're going to need to color.